This video is designed to help first-time users set up an OptiTrack motion capture system. Let's start by reviewing the necessary hardware. You will need a Windows computer, a PoE network switch, OptiTrack cameras with mounts, CAT6 Ethernet cables, a calibration wand, a calibration square, a security key, the necessary license information, and some retroreflective or active markers. The CPU is the most important computer component when using Motive. Fast processors with a moderate number of cores are ideal. To prepare the capture volume, start by clearing out unnecessary objects in the space, and in most cases, blocking out any sunlight. It is good practice to limit highly reflective surfaces as they can add noise to the data. We optimize this space by covering the floor with rubber mats that are non-reflective and completely black in infrared light. The next task is to mount the cameras. In most applications, cameras will be mounted to tripods or clamped to a truss surrounding the volume. Typically, cameras should be placed up high, around the edge of the capture volume, at varying heights with unobstructed views. After mounting each of the cameras, connect the Ethernet cables to the back of the network switch, then to the back of each camera. Lastly, connect the switch to the computer. For larger systems with multiple switches, use an aggregator switch before connecting to the computer. Now let's install and activate OptiTrack's main software Motive. Click the link in the description below to download the latest version of Motive. Launch the installer, follow the prompts to install Motive, then launch the software. At this point, there will be an alert to activate a license. Click on the License Tool option, insert the security key into your PC, enter the license information, and click Activate. Finally, click the Retry button on the splash screen to get started. Now that Motive is running, you can start camera configuration. The first thing you will need to do is aim each camera. We recommend setting up a TV, monitor, or your phone to remotely reference Motive. Place a few markers in the target capture area for reference points when aiming and focusing. Single click the Aim Assist button on the back of each camera to switch that camera into grayscale mode and center that view in the monitor. Typically this view is used to aim the camera near the center of the volume. Double click the Aim Assist button on the back of the camera or manually zoom into the marker in grayscale mode. Focus the camera lens in and out until the marker appears as small as possible in the view. For the Primex 22 and 41, you will need to adjust the lens's aperture and the exposure settings and motive to optimize the lighting in your space. The end goal is to produce images with bright markers and dark backgrounds. With the physical setup complete, you should be ready to calibrate the system. Before calibrating, check to confirm that all the cameras are in object mode with the circle crosshair icon in the device's pane. First, apply masks over existing bright spots seen in your camera's view. This basically tells the camera to ignore shiny objects in your volume. Second, wand the volume by slowly waving the calibration wand while walking around the volume, allowing each camera to capture enough samples covering most of its field of view. When the LED lights and squares in the calibration pane appear bright green, enough samples have been captured. Head back to the PC and click Calculate. Motive will use those samples to figure out where each camera is relative to one another. Check the wanding result and make sure it's satisfactory. The final step is setting the ground plane to define the global origin. Simply place the calibration square in the middle of the volume and click the Set Ground Plane in the software. And just like that, your system is calibrated and ready to start tracking. Next up is creating some assets to track. Setting up rigid bodies is easy. Just attach either passive or active markers to any object you would like to track. To attach passive markers, we typically use marker post and adhesives, or Velcro. Allow some space between neighboring markers for optimal tracking. When all of the markers are visible in the viewport, select the markers by dragging a box around them. Right-click near the selection and choose Create Rigid Body. To set up a skeleton, open the Builder pane and select the skeleton you would like to track. The Builder pane provides a 3D model showing all of the marker locations needed to track a particular skeleton. With the subject in their mocap suit, start placing markers as displayed in the builder pane. When placing markers near joints, ask the subject to bend their elbows and knees to guide the placement onto the bony parts of their joint for the best tracking results. Head back to the PC and ask the subject to stand in a T-pose. With feet shoulder width apart, toes pointing forward, arms stretched to the sides shoulder height, and palms facing down forming a T-shape. Drag a box around all of the markers and hit create. The skeleton avatar should instantly appear, confirming tracking in Motive. There are a variety of devices that can be used within Motive such as force plates, data acquisition devices, EMG devices, and active gloves to name a few. These devices must be set up using their own instructions and confirmed to be working before they can integrate with Motive. With assets and devices tracking, you're now ready to record or stream data. To get started with recording, type in a file name at the bottom of Motive. Hit record and that's it. The recorded data will be saved in the data pane, where you can sort and arrange take files to suit your workflow. After data has been recorded, double click on one of the files to open it. Once recorded, you can view and edit the data. OptiTrack's easy-to-use plugins can be used to get real-time data into programs like Unity, Motion Builder, and Unreal Engine. More advanced users can use the NatNet SDK to design their own applications or plugins for real-time data. Further instructions for setting up different device types and data streaming can be found on our wiki, linked in the description below. That wraps up all the basics needed to get started using an OptiTrack system. Good luck out there!